Good afternoon, friends. You're at that 1870s homestead, and my name's Rachel. And I woke up feeling frisky this morning to cook homemade for lunch, which I rarely, rarely do. I mean, it's normally just soups, sandwiches, whatever, and not recipe based, is what I mean. So, we are going to be making a chicken bacon bread roll thing. Found the recipe on the, the website that is Rhodes, you know, the Rhodes dinner rolls and everything. And it just sounded absolutely yummy. So this morning I just made up my own bread recipe and I think it's a wonderful recipe. It's a kind of a sweet Amish sandwich bread. Um, and we thoroughly love it. I know I've had lots of people on the channel make it and they like it. So if you want that, we'll leave it in the description box below, the link to it. But I'm gonna roll this out just like 12 by 18 inches, it said. So nice and thin. And then I'll show you what all I'm topping it with. First thing I need to do is mix up some ranch dressing. And I made up, for the first time ever, some homemade ranch dressing mix. It turned out really good and it came in handy that I had that buttermilk powder from the Amish store. So I'm not doing it traditional way, I'm just using what I have. I'm gonna go in with a good heaping couple tablespoons of mayonnaise, yogurt, I think a traditional uh, ranch dressing would be buttermilk, um, sour cream, and mayonnaise. We're just using what we've got, and I need about a half a cup of this stuff. Okay. And then shake in maybe a good two teaspoons of our ranch dressing mix. Mix that together. Looks good. And then we're going to spread like half of this on this bread dough. Leaving enough dry edge around that we can roll this up. And I thought if I'm inspired to make it, maybe you guys are in the doldrums of I want something new and I don't want to just make bread today. What can I make? Nick, this would be great for dinner, a good weekend fun treat for the family. All right, I think that's good. Now we're gonna go on with a can of our chicken breast. I'm just gonna sprinkle that around. I may end up needing to get two cans out. We'll see. My stomach's already growling and it's only like just 10, 20. And I just been smelling the bacon cooking and the bread rising and my, it's fooling my system that it's time to eat. But it'll be ready right at lunchtime. Now I need the real yumminess. I cooked up a pound of our bacon just in crumble bits. And the way I like to do it, if you never do it that way, is just pre-chop it with scissors um, before you load it in the pan and it cooks up nice. Yummy, yummy. Now we're gonna drizzle on just a little sriracha. Okay, cheese. I don't have shredded cheese. Shredded cheese would be better just because we are kind of rolling this together. But we'll make do with what we have. towards the middle. This is just sharp cheddar cheese. All right, now the tricky part, to roll it up. And it's not gonna be exactly like a bread loaf. It's going to be more like a flatbread style. Okay. 
Well, kind of like a big stromboli. All right, I think I can get this all picked up and moved to the pan. All right, and then we'll flip this over. Oops, don't stick. Maybe don't do that. Okay, and then what we're doing with the last of that ranch is dressing the top of the bread. And if you guys want this recipe for the um, ranch dressing mix I made, it came from Sally's Baking Addiction. It's one of my favorite food, food blog channels. Um, not even a channel, really. I don't know that she does YouTube. I just always go to her website when I need inspiration. All right, and then I do have a little bit of cheddar cheese we'll top it with. Okay, now we're going to let this rise for 30 minutes. And then we'll be back after that and bake it together. Okay, I just pulled it out of the oven. It looks yummy. We're gonna bake it now. 375 for 20 minutes, just like this. Then I'm gonna cover it just with some aluminum foil for another 20 minutes. Looking good. Cover it now with some foil. Smells done. Mmm. <laughs> that looks amazing. I'm gonna let this sit. I, I think I could have gone less time. I was just following their recipe exactly. I probably would have only done 10 more minutes. Um, but we're gonna let this rest probably 10 minutes and come back and cut into it. All right, well darn it, I'm really bummed that I overcooked this, but I think it's still gonna be good. In the center, we can just cut the edges off and feed it to the chickens. We're, we don't really like our breads overdone. But let me head into this. Woo wee. Hot, hot. Ready to see it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Landon's here, he's like, yeah. Ooh, that looks amazing. And I did mix up, yeah, it looks good. And I mixed up some more ranch dressing for dipping sauce. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You want some bread? Yeah? Okay. Well, thanks guys for coming with me in the kitchen. I'm making a really yummy chicken bacon ranch stuffed bread. We're gonna have our lunch now and just cook it 10 minutes less than I did. Looks great. See you guys on the next video. Do you want a piece of bread? No. You don't want any bread? Do you want a bite? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> you want some bread? Yes. Okay.